Hello ghouls, it's Dan Gay, your friendly neighborhood horror author, and I'm here today because it's springtime, which means it's time to get ready for Halloween. Namely, it's time to grow a giant pumpkin for my haunted pumpkin patch for trick or treat, and that starts today. Okay ghouls, first let's talk about seeds. These are fancy giant pumpkin seeds. Um, you do not have to go fancy. I did this because I had access and it was easy for me and it was something fun that I wanted to try. I bought these at the Circleville Pumpkin Show and I go every year, so easy for me. But if you don't have access to something like that, you can either buy seeds from like a local giant pumpkin growers cooperative, and yes, they do exist, but those seeds tend to be expensive. Or um, you can buy any Atlantic giant pumpkin seed from a reputable seed company because really all of these I think are Atlantic Giants that's the type of pumpkin these are these are just ones that um, have a little bit of a pedigree so let's talk about that so see here these seeds um, it tells you a little bit about the mom pumpkin and the dad pumpkin because yes these folks are serious so I know that the mom pumpkin for these seeds weighed north of 1,500 pounds, and the dad weighed 1,700 pounds, and the names, I think, are the farmers that grew them. Um, I could be wrong. Pretty sure that's how it goes. So this is just a start. Start with good seeds. You get good plants. That's universally true. Now, how do you know if you have a good pumpkin seed? Um, there's a way to test. You should take your seeds and drop them. And you hear that sound? It should be kind of a and heavy. If you don't hear that, if it sounds light and like hollow, it's not a seed that's going to sprout. Like It's just not a good seed. Now I also have these, which I also bought at the pumpkin show with a different parent. These are actually smaller and lighter and they don't feel as good. So um, that's why I'm actually going to grow the Smiths this year. So let's listen to this one compared to this one. This one's heavier, a little bit meatier. So these are the ones we're going to work with. Okay, seeds part two. You have to prep your seeds before you plant them. So I'm not sure if you can see, but this is the tip right here. Okay, and this is where the little baby pumpkin comes out. This is where the sprout comes out. So there's a couple little holes right there. But before we do that, um, we need to actually use an emery board for nails to um, rough up the edges all the way around to make it easier for this to sprout. We do not sand the tip. We're going to sand everything else. Okay, it says to take off about a sixteenth of an inch, um, but to stop if you see any sort of crack forming. So I'm going to be a little bit um, gentle and cautious with these and try not to sand off too much because I've never actually um, used fancy seeds like this or done this before and last year I grew Atlantic Giant pumpkin seeds that I bought um, from just a standard seed company and I didn't know how to do any of this or that I was supposed to do any of this and they actually sprouted just fine but since I'm like you know aiming for the big leagues this year I'm going to do everything right so okay I'm giving it a light sanding you can kind of see where some of it's been taken off some of the coating and this is step one in seed prep before you plant. Um, after this, we're going to soak it in peroxide, hydrogen peroxide, um, for 30 minutes. And then we're going to soak it in plain water for three to six hours. Now, the goal of this, I believe, is to just make it easier to sprout, you know, so it doesn't have to fight so hard to get out of this very hard protective case. Um, all right, so I don't see any splits. All right, I'm going to sand just a few more minutes and then I'm going to put it in the peroxide. Okay, now uh, I've sanded the seeds. They're ready to go. Um, the next step is to just soak them in a little bit of standard hydrogen peroxide from the store. For 30 minutes. So I'm just going to put them in the bottom of a cup, put enough in to cover them, or so I thought, but they just float. So I'm just going to put a little bit in the cup, and I'm probably just going to stir them around and flip them over um, 
make sure they soak evenly for 15 minutes on a side. That's not in the directions, but I'm guessing that's what I need to do. So uh, the peroxide is just step one in loosening up this the shell just a little bit so that it can sprout a little bit easier. So, okay, we'll check back in 30 minutes. Okay, so it is time to plant. We have soaked our seeds, we've sanded our seeds. Um, so I am just using compost, um, which has a lot of nutrients. That's what I'm gonna use. Um, you could also use like just a plain potting mix or seed starting mix. Um, the key is that you don't want it to be too wet. Like when I put my finger in there, there's no water pooling around. Um, you want it to be moist, but not soaking wet, okay? Now, I am planting not in a pot, but in a milk jug, which if you're familiar with winter sowing, there is a reason for that. This basically acts as like a mini greenhouse to protect my plant. And since I've cut it so it opens, um, it's easier for me to take it from inside to outside without damaging the plant. Like it's easier to harden, but um, I won't explain that. It will take too long. So you can Google winter sowing and milk jugs and get a good idea of how to use this. Um, it's also deep and it's also free. So yay, recycling. Okay, so here's our seed. Um, we want to plant it one inch down on its side flat. So I'm just going to Press it down about an inch, like that, and then cover it over so it's an inch under. And our, um, that's it. Now we wait. Um, the warmer it is, the warmer your soil is, I should say, the faster this is going to germinate. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this closed and I'm going to put it someplace in my house that's warm and when I say warm I don't mean warm necessarily in the air I mean warm underneath because you want the soil to be warm to make it germinate faster so if you have like some sort of appliance like refrigerator or something that puts off a little bit of heat on one of its surfaces and you can safely sit this on top that's going to warm up your soil and it's going to germinate faster um, the warmer your soil the faster it's going to germinate generally, but you know, if your soil is not super warm and you don't have ideal conditions, that's fine. It's going to germinate. It's just probably going to take a little bit longer. So, all right. Um, that's it for now. When they sprout, um, they're only supposed to be inside for three to five days after they sprout. So they'll have probably two or three leaves by then. Um, and I will meet you then and we will transplant it into the garden. So Operation Giant Pumpkin has begun.